Well, I'm back to our everyday living, everyone. I just thought I'd show my little toy in a little video. Um, this is my little toy. Well, new toy, I should put it. Uh, that's what I named it as. My new toy. Haven't painted it. There's no point painting it. It's only danged and banged around. Uh, but anyway, I've had someone here. They've pressed up a block of aluminium. I'll just show you what I'm saying, a block of aluminium. They've already pressed all of our aluminium trays up and that sort of thing. Uh, this is the plate that I made to go inside. Put a chain on it so you can pull it out when you need to. That goes in there. Dangle the chain over. It's just an ordinary shop press. That's all it is. Um, that's, I didn't make the shop press itself. It's just this jig here that I've made. Place that on like that. That way you can press it down. Uh, but I'm in the means of, at the moment, taking all of that out. So you'll see that as we go. Take that down two. Take that down to another two. And we'll take the bottom plate off it. Just a rattle gun. Come around this side. that to there we don't need that anymore put that to there to there and what we'll do is we'll put a couple of ties across this is so we can actually tie it all up because I still use this bottom plate here to actually put it down onto so we just press it away And that should just fall out of there. Not literally fall out, it'll come out fairly steady. I just hold my hand underneath it. Press it down. It does seem to fall apart when it's coming out, that's why I put the ties around it. aluminium cans and all of that sort of thing all right that's to there where's my other bar going oh i'm not unorganized here at the moment like always oh damn i've done that up tight can i have a hand out please <laughs> there we go i've got it all right push that up that's only got to be finger tight anyway. It doesn't need to be very tight. Pull that block out of there. Turn that block right up on its end. If it'll reach, no it won't. Right, we'll go that way. And we'll put this one this way. Down you go. Go closer to the shaft. Your hand. Put your hand, yeah. Take that out of there. Yeah. Stop. Go. If I just let that go, it's just going to fall apart. As you can see, it just comes apart. Right, keep going. Whoop, no, 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 because you're there. That's your stop point. Right, go again with this, up the other way, pull that out. Pull that 
out. Put this this way. Hang on. We'll go this one down there. And this one this way. Don't need to. I'm pushing it down. Just the weight of that does the job. Right. So now we've got to remove this whole item. Yep, we're going to remove that. So, what we do, we leave the tie underneath because that's got to stay there. So we'll take that down one more. One more hole. It will come apart. But putting the tie around it holds it all together. Can you just hold that there, please, Del? Oh, what? Table tie? No. That. Thank you. All right. That gets that down to there. And that gets our plate out. It's a bit finicky, but it does the job. That's the main thing, as long as it does the job. Right, and while that's still all on the plate, I slide it out of the road. Put it up on our chair here. Because we get get to repress that to get the tie around it. it looks funny colours. Because we're going to remove this out of the road. That's got a fair bit of weight in that. Then we move this back up. Pull those pins out. That's not too high. Probably is. Alright. Do 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 a quick measure with the hammer. Yeah, one hole too high. Who needs tape measures? Alright, that's just the ordinary shop press. Get back to this. So now, what we do, is we line it all up, put a tie across the top, like so, put our plate back on top, grab our two press plates, all right. Yep. Now that's June doing the pumping. So she can only go down so far with her strength. Keep going. I'll have it. Alright, that's all we should need. Can you get that into that side? Yep, you can get that that side. Alright, zip that up to that, zip that to that. It's not sitting. Doesn't, you can't do nothing about it. Once it's pressed, and that's in there, you know, not much you can do about it. You've got to start it all over again. We're not doing that today. And that's how it's held together. That's how I hold them together. Easy peasy. You'd like to grab the scales out, please, Dale? Right. Grab the scales next to the washing machine. Bathroom scales in the washing machine. Right, let's see what this is going to weigh. We'll get our scales going. These are just ordinary bathroom scales. How much this will weigh? 5.1 kgs. Wow. That's a fair bit of weight in that. Anyway, that's what that one weighs. So, all in total, we'll grab them all. 
We've got three pressed up. That washing machine tub there was full of all of this. Now it's compressed down to this. We'll put them all together, I reckon it's about 15 kgs. I reckon. You're going to fall over, aren't you? Nope, that's good. I've still got one more I can do. Put that onto that and we do be quick with the rest. That, uh, one's, that one's heavier. <laughs> yeah, it will be. That's 5.5. 5. 5. 5. It's still going up. What are we? Well, I said 15. 15.6 15. kgs. Uh, we can't change that to pounds, can we? No. No. So I'll do the conversion and I'll put it on in the video for everyone. So yeah, that's how that works. And I'll show you how we put it all back together. It's so simple. Imagine, oh, you want the scales. There you go. Uh, imagine that being full, that washing machine tub. Um, down to that. That's what I'm loving the most. It's a big space saver. Right, now we'll put all this back together. We just put the bolts back in, that's all we have to do. Put the pins in there, that's a, just a reassurance to know that we've got it right. I've had to oversize the, the hole in the plate so I could get it centre. The plate only goes one way. Start them all first before I do any zip t zipping up and tightening. And they were a lock nylac lock nut um, bolt, but it didn't doesn't seem to matter with this. All right, we just go to and go to town with this. One click. that pulls it up pulls it up that's that back together right and it is a sit down job you can sit down on a stool chair whatever you like sit that over here we've still got some here uh, the fella I had doing this for me he's going to go have something to eat but he was supposed to mix that with that but he hasn't but anyway um, we always wear the wear gloves doing this, the leather ones, because it's pretty sharp. And I'll show you how it all works. I've got to put those pins back in yet, haven't I? Yes, I better do that. One pin this side, which will lift that up a little bit. Not much. And this pin this side. It's just a safety factor, that's all it is not relying on just these two bottom pins then right all we do is we just chuck it in chuck it in and press it down whatever you've got in aluminium whether it's an aluminium can so you, ow, ow, ow. The, the cans I'm putting in here haven't got the 10 cents or they're too mangled up and I can't process them through our machine that we go to so that's how it all works just poke it in so easy I had this brainstorm off how am I going to compress that how am I going to save space I thought well if I compress it like I've done with those blocks there, I'm going to save space. So that's why I thought of this. They usually sit there. It's all made out of steel, ordinary, just ordinary steel. Fairly thick stuff. I think that's about 10 mil, um, 10 mil wall to 200 by 200 um, piece of RHS square box all it is 
It doesn't matter how much you get in there. Where's the, oh, I'll put the hammer away over there. I'll do without the hammer. All right, we put this in here. And we just press it down. Gotta get lined up. No margin for error on this one. Just the way it designed it. Put that into there now. It does stop the plate from bending too, having these thicker ones. Gives you more spread of an area. Keep pressing it down. Usually you can we can fit one of these washing machine plastic tubs, one of these and a half in this before you, we empty it out. So it's a fair bit really. So you can press it down to the length of what these blocks are. So you can stand that block up on its end and that one down on its flat. So you can really compress it right down. And the reason for the chain, so you can fish the plate out. These blocks aren't too bad. Alright, that's that one. That'd be good if it was on a porter power one. Motorised. But, get the old arm action going. I might leave that there, put this one in here. Just keep your hands out of it just in case it goes bang or I have had it go bang and that plate flips out. At least you've got a wall here, you can you've got a bit of protection anyway. Physical work. Alright, go to the next lot. Bring that up again. Yeah, can do it with this one. And this is how you get your layers. Like the one layer would be way down yonder, all squashed up. That's that layer. And all we do is we pull it all apart. Pull the plates out and repack it with more. This is why the chain's on there. Look at that down in there. Look at that. Look at that. Magic. Magic. Then we just keep going. So I hope everyone likes this video. Now I'll put this machine together. You're heading off, are you? Oh, I thought you'd do some of this for me. Well, I got into that one. So I'm going to finish that off. What I'm doing now. 
June's gonna go do his candles. So that's how it works. So simple everyone. So simple. Hope you all like this video. I found it very intriguing making it. Uh, not the, the, the item that is. But well, how am I going to do it? There's no seams for this to split open or anything like that. It's all cold drawn, um, ordinary black steel. Not cold drawn, I should say. Cold drawn is so, totally stu different stuff um, and expensive stuff. Like to make the whole unit, not the shop press, um, you're looking at about probably. Oh, hundred dollars to make the make the jig up. So that's not too bad. Do that screw up. So yeah, so simple, so easy. Doesn't matter if you get it level, unlevel, I should say. You can always start all over. You don't have to take it all the way down like I did with that first lot. You can just go that distance there because you've got about, I think it's four inches in a press um, that I'm doing. I could make it better where the, that shaft is actually longer and I put this further down and that way I'm getting a full, full length of the actual press itself. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's really necessary. Only need enough room to put this stuff in. An aluminum foil trays. So you don't, you don't need to go all the way down. You can go there because eventually it's going to compress its all self. So you go. keep popping it in. Keep popping it in. Doesn't matter. But yeah, these are the cans that we couldn't couldn't straighten at all. I give them a go and yeah, it wouldn't go. Alfoil tray down the back. Oh, give that a go. Doesn't matter which way this piece of plate goes, it doesn't have to, the chain does not have to face me. It can face any way. It's all the same, it's 200 millimetres. 200 millimeters, which is uh, I can't work that out in off the top of my head for what it would be in inches. I think it's 200 to be about seven inches. Oh, nose is itchy. There, just press it down. Slow and steady will win a race. That's the old saying. And you can put that plate, this one that I'm playing with, these blocks, you can put them diagonally or anything like that because of um, oh damn, the way it's designed. They're actually smaller than the 200. I think they're about 180 or something like that.
think I just fluked it when I made this or well, when I got it measured up I didn't measure these plates to do that but that's how it's worked out it's worked out good for the for me anyway these pieces here were uh, two pieces of angle line fairly heavy angle line I've got it sitting over there um, just cut them up and rounded the corners off and welded them on it was a bit finicky putting them on but I had to work it out so I could slide it in both ways so it didn't matter I'll get the extra bar onto it that's better so if you haven't got a lot to press you could probably make one smaller but I found having it that length I think I made it I think that's almost uh, truth I'll get the tape measure out and we'll do the, do a do a measurement up very shortly Go and get a tape measure. We'll do some measuring up for you. Oh dear. I have got another tool here. It's only a tire lever. If I can't get that out, put put a hook in it and pull it up. Hey. Simple. But anyway. What we'll do is I'll go get the tape measure and we'll do some measuring for everyone. Right, thought I'd stack some more in there. Um, now, what I was saying about measuring, here we'll push this down, we'll get this going. Take my glove off, manhandle the um, tape measure, get this started off. Get that down. It's just the urge to press it down, put it into those blocks. Fantastic. Anyway, we got that far. Flip the chain out of the road. Now this is 200, which is eight inches, or it's a bit under eight inches. It's it's uh, seven and three sixteenths. I think it might be. I'm not sure. I don't know how to work inches like that. Um, all the small ones. But anyway, it's definitely 200 millimeters, uh, which is 20 centimeters uh, by 20 centimeters. Um, height. I've got it at 260 mil, which is 26 centimeters. The thickness of that is 10 mil, which is one centimeter. Um, my plate that I've got in there, I think it's the same thickness. This plate here would be the same, yes, one mil. Uh, I got that plate, I think it was, uh, yeah, that one there is, I made this, made it so that they cut it at 250 uh, which is almost 10 inches uh, by because it allows you to put your bolt holes in so yeah by 10 and a half inches which is 27 centimeters which is 270 mil um, these box sections that I, ha I have here they were angle of yeah, I think it's about there where I joined it. I think it was 100 by 100, 100 by uh, 60. I had to chop some off to fit it in here because it was too wobbly. So yeah, I chopped it off and I had to bevel the edge in to get that decent weld and that sort of thing. It's same as all up here. It looks like bird poo, but no, I've had to really turn the power up with the MIG and try and penetrate into this material and that material because that's older stuff. Even though I cleaned it up and oxidated it, oxidized it and whatever, how you pronounce that. Um, but yeah, it's strong enough. It's good enough for what do I do. Welded the nuts on, put the bolts in and then thought, oh, well, we'll just mark the holes out. See how I go. But that's the measurements of it. Uh, the width of the press itself, it's a half a meter, 50 mil, 500 mil wide. Um, 
So yeah, it's just an ordinary super cheap auto shop press. You might be able to get it at a Walmart or something like that. Same sort of thing. It's only a 12,000 pound, a 1200, 1200 kgs. 120, yeah, oh, it's there. You can all read that. I can't pronounce it right. But anyway, I'm going to get back to pressing this. So um, we haven't got much left to go, as you can see. Uh, that'll probably go down about twice, two more times before this is all finished. We don't usually press it all out. We wait until there's a big block like that up there. Uh, so that's 15 kgs. But like I'm saying, um, when it's in one of these, and this was full those three blocks there plus what i'm doing now this was up here that's how much it's compressed it down so it is a fantastic idea that i've made makes smaller space um this fridge here is full of non-ferrous metal that fridge is non-ferrous metal i'm filling this one up i only got that a couple of days ago too uh we've got all of our stainless steel up the back there two more fridges oh three more fridges i can fill up all of our straight aluminium is here. I'll have to take all of this over to Wagga. Now, all of our aluminium cores out of fridges, look at them. Perfectly. Got all the copper out of them. All the copper's behind me. We've got more aluminium cores. I've got to clean all that up there. Um, this is copper with aluminium. Uh, I don't know how they're going to do that. I'll leave that as it is. But yeah, we've got all of our all of our copper over here got to get all these aluminium fins off here yet um gonna put another chappy on doing that see how he goes with it there's two of those one there and one here so that way it comes back to straight copper um we've got all of our motors out of washing machines and whatever else in here uh all of our extension cords and all that still yet to get to and strip all that out and take our ends off all the wire that we've going to be stripping out is right here uh circuit boards also christmas lights in there uh, i thought i'd just separate it um down here we have a whole heap of inner gut motors and whatever else that's yet to be processed um so yeah there's a fair bit in there oh, what the devil is that doing in there oh that's the inner gut. you got to get that apart so yeah, and we've got uh, Cat 5 cable there and start of our copper. Uh, gonna strip all these lights out, get all the ballasts out and all that sort of thing. So yeah, I've sort of basically sorted everything out so I can just process as I go over there and when we come in with cans, we, we process it out of the car and these are our bins that we process it with. We're actually using one here. Like if we've got crushed ones, we put it, crushed ones in here to uncrush. The ones that we can't uncrush, we put it in another one. And same with our plastic bowls that we've got to blow up and get back into shape. So yeah, um, and with our glass, we just put it straight in the bag and off the vehicle. Bag them up, tie them up, they're all put through. So yeah, that's our little little new, new toy. Um, Going to come to a lot of uses for me. I thought, bought the shop press, and I thought, well, what else can I use it for? Then I thought of that, and I thought, yep, well, I can do that. I might even be able to press the copper up, I don't know. We'll see how that works. Probably not the best thing, but it's the way it works. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!